In the previous lesson, we found that we can find the volume of a right rectangular prism by multiplying the area of the base by the height of the prism. So, by the end of this lesson, you should be able to find the volume of a more complicated structure. Have a look at this shape. How would you go about finding the volume of this strange shape? Did you think of separating the object into two right rectangular prisms? Once you've done that, you can calculate the volume of each separate prism and then add the two volumes to get the total volume of this object. Here are the measurements of each of the lengths. So what should be our first step? We need to see if we can divide it into two separate right rectangular prisms with all the correct measurements. Where would you make the separation? Imagine we could separate the two prisms along the line EP. Imagine sewing here. That would give us these two separate right rectangular prisms. What would be the next step? Let's first check that we know how to name these rectangular prisms so that we can refer to them easily. We name a prism by its bases, that is, this face on the bottom and the face parallel to it. So we can call this prism I, J, F, E, S, K, G, P. Can you work out what the other prism would be called? It would be called prism A, B, C, D, R, S, P, H. OK, let's go back to putting the right measurements on our two separate prisms. If we look at the original structure, we see that the total length of HG was 12 meters and the length of EF was 5 meters. Can you use this information to find any other lengths? Yes. We also know that EF is equal to PG, which therefore means that PG is equal to 5 meters. That means we have the length of HP as HG minus PG, which is 12 meters minus 5 meters. which is 7 meters. We also know that the height of the structure, HD, is given as 10 meters. And we also know that the smaller side, JK, has a height of 4 meters. We still have to work out the breadth of each individual prism. 
and as you can see, it's given as 20. Now we're ready to begin our calculations. Let's start by calculating the volume of the bigger prism. All we need to do is apply the formula for finding the volume of a right rectangular prism, which is area of base times height. So the volume for this prism is the area of RSPH, which is 7 meters times 20 meters, multiplied by the height DH, which is 10 meters, which gives us 1,400 meters cubed. Now let's calculate the volume for the second right rectangular prism. So the volume is equal to the area of SKGP, which is 5 meters times 20 meters multiplied by the height JK, which is 4 meters, which gives us 400 meters cubed. Finally, to get the volume of the whole structure, we can add the volumes of the two separate right rectangular prisms. So the volume of the total structure is equal to the volume of A, B, C, D, R, S, P, H, plus the volume of I, J, F, E, S, K, G, P. which is equal to 1,400 meters cubed plus 400 meters cubed, which is equal to 1,800 meters cubed. So the volume of this entire structure is 1,800 meters cubed. Today, we have seen how to find the volume of some complex objects by separating them into right rectangular prisms and then finding the sum of their volumes. Be careful though, not all objects can be divided into right rectangular prisms. We will have a closer look at this statement in the next lesson. Now for our task. Make a copy of this diagram. Then work out the volume of the whole object. We have worked with some interesting shapes to find their volume. In the next lesson, I have some more strange shapes for you. Until then, hyperparte.